Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Fun Size Style. My name is Michaela, and thanks for stopping by. So, for today's video, I could not be more excited, to be honest, because as you know by the title, it is a clothing haul, a collective clothing haul. The title doesn't show that though, but this is a collective clothing haul, so please don't think that all this stuff is from one shopping trip. That would be a little bit insane. So, this has been like the past few weeks. And I, about a month or two ago, I cleaned out my closet because there was just a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't wear anymore and that I just worn so many times that I just, like I would just get sorting out my clothes for like putting up my fall and winter clothes and getting out my spring and summer clothes. And once I was done cleaning all that out, I realized how little spring and summer stuff I had. So I'm excited to have a full closet again. I was going through a time where I just could not find very cute clothes and when you are my size it's very challenging to find clothes, cute clothes, adult appropriate clothes in our size. Sometimes I go through what I call like dry spells where I really don't find that much cute stuff but little by little I've been collecting some things and finding some things that I really really love and there's quite a bit here. I go, like, when I go through these dry spells, then I find, like, a whole bunch of stuff. So we have stuff from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Target, Forever 21, and H&M. It's a lot. This could be, like, one of my biggest clothing hauls ever. So I'm going to try and make this video go pretty quick, like, go through each store pretty quickly. But it's a fun size style video, and one of my videos I wrote very quick. Grab a snack because you're going to need it because it's a long video. So let's go ahead and get started. I will link what I can find down below. Obviously the stuff from TJ Maxx and Marshalls I won't be able to link because they're in store and TJ Maxx and Marshalls are just like whatever you find kind of stores. So I can't link that stuff. But everything else I will try to find and link it down below. So let's for real. Go ahead and get started. One more thing. For the items that I purchase online, I always use eBay. eBay, I think they call it Rakatuan now. They changed the name or something. But it's to me, it'll always be Ebates. So I use Ebates, which is cash back when you shop online and in store. I have been using Ebates for a few years now, and it makes me really sad to know all the money that I missed out on in past years of not using Ebates when shopping online, so I will have a link down below where you can join Ebates. This video is not sponsored. I just really love Ebates, and when you sign up and make a purchase through Ebates, I will receive $25, and you'll receive a $10 welcome bonus. So, it's pretty awesome. So anyways, for real, let's go ahead and get into the first store. This bag is loud. The first store that I have is TJ Maxx. I have had not really great luck with them recently, but I found a couple things so I thought I would add it to this haul. Okay, so the first thing that I have here is a dress, and they, I love this brand B-Tween, B and then Tween. I love it because they're like just really nice clothes. Most of their stuff is like very adult-like and just very nice, and I always find this brand at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, so uh, it's one of my favorite brands. And this dress was $6.99, and it's just a basic floral dress. I this just spr spring screams spring to me, and it just it just seems happy and cheery and just perfect for spring. Like these two dresses that I bought are honestly the perfect definition of spring, and just the colors of the floral. It's just I don't know. I just really like it, and I'm excited to wear this. this. next dress I actually already wore. I try not to wear my clothes before the clothing haul, but this one I couldn't wait. I had to wear it. So here is another pink floral dress. I love the colors on this one. This one gives me like very Lily Pulitzer colors, which is so fun for spring and summer. So I had to pick this up. Oh, I f forgot to mention on the other dress, it has, what I love about these sleeves is 
Not only are these dresses cold shoulder, of course, because that's literally all I wear, I swear, except for today, of course. But they have like these little metal rings, and then it has these sleeves that kind of like cinch in, and they have this tie right here. And I just think that's such a unique touch rather than just like the typical cold shoulder. So it really adds a little something extra. And like I said, this dress right here also has that as well. So I will be wearing these a ton in the spring and summer and just like when I go to just like gatherings or something, this will be, these will be perfect for just throwing on super quick and still looking really nice. And since this is like almost the exact same style and brand, I'm pretty sure that this was also a 6 i I'm like I said, you'll notice I'm talking a little bit fast. I just, there's just so much stuff here that I am going to try and go as quickly as possible. So a little shopping life hack is I try to shop in the junior section sometimes and they'll have stuff that's extra, extra small or extra small. And I actually found a little crop top in the junior section at TJ Maxx. This was actually my first time shopping in the junior section at TJ Maxx. I also did the same thing at Marshalls and I found a couple things there as well which you'll, you'll see in a minute. But So I never, I don't know why I never thought to do that before. One of my other friends that also has osteogenesis imperfecta started doing this recently and I found this cute little crop top and it's just black and it ties at the bottom which I think is such a cute touch and it's just a basic black crop top. I really don't know what else to say other than it is so soft. Like I think this is one of the softest little tees that I have. Like it's just so soft. And it's by the brand Gaze and this is an extra small so it amazes me how small some of the stuff runs nowadays but it works out really well for me and gives me a, a wider variety when I'm shopping. This was originally $10 marked down to $7.99. Right. Moving on now to Marshalls. I found a little bit more at Marshalls than I did TJ Maxx. So the first thing that I'm going to show you guys, I purchased this in the junior section as well. So I'm going to tell you guys a little life hack here in a second, but I want to show you guys. So here is, this is actually a top, but I'm going to wear it as a dress so I guess I have to share the life hack for it so it makes sense but this is a top from the junior section in a size zero and this is by the brand Jessica Simpson oh it's backwards I'm showing you here's the front of it and I really don't know how to describe the pattern just like not tribal not Aztec just I don't know how to describe it but I love the little pop of coral on the sleeves right here I think that adds like such a fun touch and I thought again this would be a really cute dress. It's like I said it's supposed to be a top but I was like hey it's wide enough like in the neck area. Not too wide here if you know what I mean. So I could still wear this but I could wear it as a dress and it would be a super cute dress. So I'm excited to start wearing it. I love the bottom here too just super fun. I cannot wait to wear this because I think a lot of people like you wouldn't know that this is a Sure, like for me, it's going to look like a dress, obviously, because it's so long. So I think that'll be so fun to wear. Very different. And this is also, I think I mentioned this, but this is by the brand uh, Jessica Simpson. Size zero score. This was a total fun find for me. Okay, this next thing that I got is a little crop top from the brand Gaze. And it's actually, I got this at Marshalls, but it's the same brand that TJ Maxx, that uh, little black crop top and I know that TJ Maxx and Marshalls are like the same company and they also have home goods and stuff so I know that they carry some of the same brands but I found this at Marshalls I am going to cut these straps off though because they are way too long and yeah I could tie them and stuff but I just think it would look better as just a regular hoop top so that's what I'm going to do this was obviously in the junior section size extra small this was $8 and marked down to $5.99. Here's a better fit. So it's just a cute little tube top and like I said I'm going to cut the straps and just so it, it can be a tube top instead of a cami. These kind of straps don't really set well on my arms so we're going to do that. We're going to DIY it a little bit but this was a fun find. But the next two things I actually 
found in the kids section, which I normally shop at. And I just want to say, TJ Maxx and Marshalls have had so much, 90%, and this isn't even an exaggeration, I would say 90% of their clothing, kids clothing, girls kids clothing, has had like unicorns, sequins, little cupcakes, and unicorns, and fairies, and like glittery, and so I just really run dry recently through there, and that's really annoying when you're almost 21, and like those are your options, so. That's why I'm like trying to find stuff in like junior sections or between like in the extra extra small or like sometimes stores have even like extra 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 small or like zero stuff like that. But I did find this top in the kids section and it's just a plain pink top. This is by the brand Yogalicious and never heard of this brand before but the quality of their stuff seems really nice and it's just like very soft and like casual but still very cute. It's interesting how the brand is called Yogalicious because I think you're probably supposed to wear this like when working out, but like this doesn't seem like working out material if that makes sense. I don't know, but I'm super excited to wear this. I love the sleeves, which is like why I got it. Like how fun are these sleeves? I absolutely love it. So I'm super excited about this. This is a size small and usually I'm a size medium and kids, so these this brand brand runs really big, um, at least in the kids stuff. So, but super cute, and this was only four ninety nine, so definitely a total steal. The last thing that I got from Marshalls is also by the brand Yogalicious, and it's just this lavender top, and back is crisscross, which is super fun. I fun fact, purple is actually one of my least favorite colors, but this purple was like so light and. I don't know, I just really like the style on the back. Pretty much, I feel like I only wear black, white, pink, and blue. So I'm trying to add like a little something to my wardrobe and like an occasional yellow and stuff. So like I'm trying to add a little bit more to my wardrobe, but I this is one of the only purple pieces that I own. I really don't like purple. But this isn't like in your face purple, you know what I mean? So like, it's okay. And I don't remember if I mentioned, but this is also by the brand Yogalicious. And this was also $4.99. Perks of shopping in kids clothes is you can get some really great deals. The next store that I shopped at was Target online since where I live we don't have a Target. And it's really funny because I'm not even exaggerating. Every single piece that I bought from Target is blue or like navy. And I did not plan on that. There was no reason. Just all the styles that I liked were navy. Like that's the only color they have them in and the styles that I like. So I thought that was pretty funny how literally everything I bought from Target is navy. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm not going to say, so here's this navy skirt or navy dress. Like everything's navy. So you guys know, but this is actually hilarious. I don't know the prices on this stuff. There's The tags are still on it with the price tag, but some of the stuff I got on sale on the website. So I don't know the exact price, but everything will be linked down below. Okay, so this is the top that I got. This is showing up a lot more bold on camera. It's not really this bright of a navy. I said the color, but like I had to, to describe it. So it's not quite this bold, but just a basic navy top. And I just, it's so soft. And this is by the brand Art Class, which is one of my favorite brands from Target. They have some really, really nice stuff, so. I'm excited to style this. This dress that I got is also by the brand Art Class and it's one of my favorite pieces that I got just because I don't know why this navy is showing up so bold. I promise you guys it is not this bold. I would never wear all this bold cobalt blue. It's definitely navy. But it cinches in at the front and I just think that's going to look so flattering. I don't own anything like this at all. And just that little simple detail is going to look so, so nice. Like, I am so excited to wear this. And I wish they had it in different colors. But I didn't see it except for a maroon color. Which is not really that time of year. So I didn't get it. But, ah, uh, I'm going to see if they have more of this. Because this is such a nice style. I'm so excited. And it just goes down. Oops, weird fuzz right there. Hashtag real life. Um, but yeah, just a very simple but just. Nice with this little detail. It really, really makes the dress. Okay, so this next top that I got is also from Art Class. Sorry, it's a little bit wrinkly. I've waited 
to wear the stuff till I've done this haul. But it's just a light blue top, and then at the bottom it has this little tie, which I think is a really cute touch, and just adds a little something. So just another basic, which I feel like you can't go wrong with. Last thing that I found from Target, it was one of my other exciting finds because you guys know how I love my faux denim skirts from JCPenney that I love and I love them so much. I actually found a few more on eBay a long time ago that I told you guys about in my last clothing haul. And I found a faux denim skirt from Target. So the only thing I don't love about this, here, so here's what it looks like. Again, I love how it looks denim, but it's not because I can't wear jeans because they're just too heavy on my lit, small legs and I have to wear like skirts and dresses. I could wear leggings and stuff. It's just too hard to get on and when you have so many other physical struggles, there's different aspects of your life that you kind of have to sacrifice to make your life a little bit easier. But anyways, the only thing I don't love about this skirt is this little bow or tie or something. So my mom is a sewer, so hopefully she can remove this for me. I really, really hope so because if not, I don't think I'll wear this. But it looks simple enough that it'll be easy to remove, so that's why I got it. But if it works, I might try to get a few more of these if they still have them. But I didn't want to get a whole bunch because I had already gotten so many clothes. And I didn't know if the bow would come off. I think it will. It looks pretty easy. But I think that just really cheapens the look. This is by the brand Cat and Jack, I think. Yeah, Cat and Jack. So I really love this. I really hope it works. And like I said, the, the bow can come off, but it, it looks easy enough. So this was an exciting find, and I do remember that this was only $8. So if it works, I'm definitely going to buy a few more if they still have them in stock online because Target tends to sell out pretty quickly. All right, so next I'm going to show you guys two things from H&M. That's literally all I got is two things. This first thing I am so excited about. I'm excited about all of it. That's why I bought it. But I have been looking for years, and that's not even a joke. Years. This it looks a little bit big, though. Oh, that looks big. I'm just now noticing that. Oh, well. Hopefully it'll work. I've been looking years for a just plain white skirt. You would not believe that's not denim because you guys know denim is too heavy for me. You would not believe how unbelievably difficult it is to find a plain white skirt. Not skirt, skirt in my size. So difficult. But I found one from H&M this year. And it has this little, not lace, like, not floral, but I don't know what you call this, bottom, but it's really cute. And hopefully it's not too big. It looks a little bit big all of a sudden, but maybe the style, this uh, stretchy part, always tends to look a little bit bigger than it is, but dang, this looks big. Hopefully we can make it work. I'm pretty sure we can. So, I'm excited about this. I, you guys just would not know how bad I've wanted a white skirt, because I wear pink all the time. And that would, I think that would just look so nice. It was like a plain pink tee and the skirt. So nice. So, so happy to find this. So happy. I wanted to get another one, but they were quite expensive. They were like $24. So, that's why I only got one. But I did use Ebay, so that helped. Last thing that I got from H&M is this little cami dress. I'm just black and white striped. I really, really want to find a light, 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 lightweight denim jacket. If you guys know of a place where I could get a super, I mean, it has to be very lightweight denim jacket, let me know because I think that this dress would look so cute with it. So cute. So that's really, like, was my inspiration for this. I was like, you know, that would look so cute with a really lightweight denim jacket and I've never owned one before because I have not been able to find one that's lightweight enough. So maybe some of you guys help me find one, but... I'm super excited to wear this dress. That's everything from H&M that I got. Just those two things. And we're finally on to the last store of this haul. And that is Forever 21. This is probably, this is where I found the most stuff. Everything from Forever 21 is white, black, and pink. I don't know why. It's just like, that. they've had a lot of that lately. And the styles that I like just happen to be those colors. So, let's go ahead and get into this last store of this haul. So I'm a little, if I'm being honest, I'm a little bummed about this dress. This is a basic black skater skirt 
or skater dress and on the website it looked a lot more soft and just, I don't know, it just looks softer. I know how could something look soft, but like maybe I'll try to insert a picture and you'll see, but this is not soft like at all. The fabric is a little bit heavier than it looked online and again, how can something look heavier? I'll show you the picture and you'll know what I mean. To me, it just doesn't resemble the photo very well, even though it's like literally what it is. Just like the softness and like the lightweightness, that's not a word, but whatever. That's what I thought it was going to be and it's definitely not. So, I mean, I'll still wear it. It's a basic black dress that I've needed, like short sleeve one. So, I mean, it's fine. I was just a little bit disappointed about that. But this was $14.90, but I also had a couple coupons and then I also used Ebates. I actually started to look in the crop top section of, because I, I do have a few crop tops from Forever 21 in the women's section. And this is one that I bought online. I usually buy them in store, but I don't know, I really like the style of this one. So I wanted to try it. Looks a little bit funky. I will have to do an Instagram picture if it works because it's just too hard to show. But come on, it has, you can't even see it. But it's just like a white crop top, but it has this little style at the bottom. I, you can't tell. So I'll try it if it works. I'll post it on Instagram at some point. But I think it might work. But I just think it also might make me look buff. We'll see. But just going out on a limb on that one. And this was $12.90. But again, I had those coupons and I used Ebates. So that that was before all of that, these prices. And then the rest of the stuff is from the kids section. Okay, so the next thing that I got is just a basic pink. This is quite a bright pink. It looked quite this bright on the website, but that's okay. I still really like it. So not much to say about that. Other than it's very, very soft and very casual and just will be for the a perfect quick day outfit. This was $5.90. And then I got the same shirt in white because I feel like you can never have too many basic white tees. Because if you stain clothes like I do, you would just know you can never have too many basic white tees. So this was also $5.90. This shirt I'm also a little bit disappointed about just because online it did not look this thick or ooh, it didn't look like it had this texture. I don't know. I don't think I... This is definitely more winter to me. Like, this material is very, very thick. I would return it, but I think it'll cost me more to return it than it would sell it or just save it for the winter time. But it's just a pink and white striped tee. I cannot get over how heavy this material is. Like, I don't even know if you guys can tell, but it's, it's like a heavy material. And it's very, very thick. So, and I, if you know me personally, you know that I am, I run warm as it is. There's a whole variety of factors as to why that is. Yeah, so this, I will roast in this. It's spring and summer, so I might go ahead and sell this. I don't know. I don't think I could get what I paid for it, $9.90. I mean, I probably could, but usually when you sell on, like, resale and stuff, people want, like, a deal, so... I don't know, this was definitely, probably my, it was my biggest bummer of this whole entire haul. I just cannot get over how thick this is, and the fact that they sell it in the spring and summer is just wild to me, but would not recommend this. This next top is also like a very bright pink, and it looks very similar to the material of the top that I just showed you, but it's definitely not as thick, and I will still wear this in the springtime. This was $9.90 as well. The next thing that I got is a basic white ribbed tee with a little bit of patterns really nice it looks thick but it's definitely not it's like a nice thin material which i like and this was $7.90 the last item of this haul i and up for over 21 i'm super excited about so this is just a basic white and like floral top and then at the back it has this really really pretty lace detailing which i didn't even notice when i bought it so that is such a nice touch i Really love it. So I think this would be cute with one of my faux denim skirts as well. I really like this top. Yeah, I'm really excited to wear this. Oh my gosh. We made it to the end of this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. So that was everything from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, H&M, Target, and Forever 21. We made it. It was one of my biggest hauls ever. I surely hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know 
your favorite spring finds down below. There might be a part two to this even because I'm that low on short sleeve stuff. So, and some of the stuff from Forever 21 didn't really work out as well as I hoped. So, there might be a part two to this in a few weeks or so. So, I haven't gotten anything like I'm not waiting to film it. Like, I don't have anything else right now. But I might do a little bit more shopping in a few weeks. But anyways, I'm going to make this intro outro short because this video is long enough. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will have everything, everything linked down below. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.